Great men never die. They remain for generations and generations. They endure in history forever, whether, they, whether we like it or not. To date, we read and we study about those major contributors to humanity. But those closest to us are those we relate to, those who led the country during our lifetime. This is why Field Marshal Mohammed Hussein Tantawi will always be remembered as the captain that led the vessel to safety during the storm, leading to where we are today. May his soul rest in peace. Good evening. You're watching the Business Insider on Nile TV International, and I'm Ayman Salah. Our weekly program tackles events affecting economies and businesses, and we aim to bring you the inside story. Welcome back. Let's start with the first news item. Real estate companies could face closer regulatory scrutiny under proposals designed to mitigate risk in the sector. Vice Minister for Housing Khaled Abbas said auditors may be assigned to each real estate developer and report quarterly on projects and activities. Abbas said the Ministry and the New Urban Communities Authority are also considering having real estate developers create separate bank accounts for each of their developments, which would allow auditors to monitor the project's finances. Real estate developers would be divided into seven categories based on their solvency, and land would be distributed based on companies' finances, their technical expertise, and business history. This would help prevent projects from being delayed and companies from entering financial difficulties. Now, the second news item is from Fitch. Fitch announced that it is upbeat on Egypt's fertilizer sector. The agency is bullish on its rising production and exports. According to its report, production and exports in Egypt's fertilizer sector will continue to increase between now and 2025, despite recent hikes on export fees. It said Egypt is already a major player in the global fertilizer market and will likely reinforce its position over the coming three years as plateauing domestic consumption and increased production allows companies to increase exports, particularly to the sub-Saharan Africa and MENA regions. We hold an upbeat outlook for Egypt's fertilizer sector with a number of ongoing and planned projects expected to increase production capacity, especially for nitrogen fertilizer, according to Fitch. We'll be back. Welcome back. You're watching The Business Insider. Tonight I'm joined by an expert in the food and grain technology industry. He is Mr. Ahmed Bilal. A pleasure to have you on the show here with us Me tonight. Too. Thank you for coming. Very nice. Let's watch this report which tackles grain storage technology and then start our discussion here on The Business Insider. Okay. Food security is a major priority for any nation. This comprises many aspects of the cycle, whether agricultural, production or storage. The regional center for the technology of grain storage in Birkash was the latest addition to the country's efforts in the latter. The center is established to become a regional hub for training and preparing calibers in the field of grain storage technology and the management and operation of silos. It represents an important step forward in strengthening Egypt's food security strategy and in achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals, namely zero hunger and decent work and economic growth, along with responsible consumption and production. Egypt's efforts in implementing its food security strategy re-emphasized prior measures to provide basic needs which became an urgent task in times of crisis. The center was developed with an Emirati grant to train engineers and technicians in the field of electricity, mechanics and agriculture. 
Within their scope was to enhance the efficiency of the grain silo storage and handling systems. This has been achieved and the storage capacity has doubled since 2014, which was estimated at 1.6 million tons. Now the capacity increased to 3.4 million tons. The silos project contributed to increasing the strategic stock of wheat, which greatly helped in dealing with the corona pandemic and increased the strategic wheat reserve to 4.7 months. The Birkash silo is built on 8 Fadans with a storage capacity of 60,000 tons, 12 metal cells with a capacity of 5,000 tons for each, and wholly operated via a control room. This, along with 23 other plants stretching from the Mediterranean Sea in the north and Suez in the east, all the way down to Aswan in the south. In addition to the Oasis plant of 600 kilometers west of Aswan, Egypt, which produces around 23 million tons of grain products, is a major grain consumer. It is the world's biggest importer of wheat, with an annual import of 17 million tons of different grain products. Welcome back to the Business Insider. Again, I am joined by Mr. Ahmed Bilal. He's an expert in the food and grain technology industry. Once again, a pleasure having you on the show nice here tonight. Nice to you again. Pleasure. I remember some time ago, we weren't used to seeing the big silos on the highways yes. that we now see. How was the situation like before the emergence of the, the large numbers of silos that we see today. And how is this <coughs> affecting the storage industry, if you can call it that? We, 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 first of all, uh, it's a pleasure to be with you in the program. And uh, if we talk about the grain storage steel silo uh, specifically, this is for sure is new development and the new technology to store our, our food and our main food, especially mm -hmm. the wheat, soya bean, uh, corn, all these strategic uh, goods or stra strategic stuff for our food. Before, we used the traditional uh, methods uh, for storage like uh, we called it uh, shona. Mm. by Arabic. Shona, which Shona, is basically which storing is in the land. Of land. Mm. It's open, not closed, uh, in many provinces, owned by some uh, local people who work in the same field for trading or selling or buying the grains, collecting by, for sure, by, by, by this is controlled by the government, for mm. sure. They apply to store some, some of wheat from the local farmer around this area. Mm. Then they collect this uh, by uh, manual documents mm. and for the uh, no cover, no any protection, no uh, from, the, from the raining, from the sun, from the dust. This why the humidity, the humidity. Mm. This why the, the, the waste was too much mm. about 10 to 15 percent sometimes reach 20 percent of the stock mm. of our grains. Mm. This is why uh, we, 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 we have to import a lot of, to compensate. Mm. This is why our number of importing of the wheat is, was increasing, not only because of the population, also because of the waste of our storage, mm. traditional methods of storage for grains. But this why since 15, 2015, when we started to study our, these problems, the government and the political leadership con concentrate to solve this problem and uh, find that we have to make the steel silo projects. And uh, we make now about 50, 50 projects, big projects around Egypt in more than 17 provinces. Mm -hmm. Governorates. Governorates. Mm which now able to store about uh, 4 million tons. It wasn't. Mm. Uh. 
What does the 4 million ton represent compared to our consumption? Uh, our consumption is, is about 18 million ton now. Mm. You, mean, you mean Egypt consumption of the weight? Right. Consumption is about 18 million ton. 18 million tons yes. annually? Yes, annually. Mm. We plant about uh, 8, 8 to 9 million ton. So the government sector, the public sector and the private sector uh, annually try to compensate the difference, which is about 9 to 10 million mm -hmm. by exporting from Russian, from Ukraine. Importing. From importing. Importing. Importing from right. Russia. Yeah. The, the 4 million ton storage, is this the overall storage capacity? The 4 million ton storage is over. Yes. yes, this is not only for the steel silos. Only for the steel. new for the new storage mm. steel silos for mm. grains, mm. but we, as I told you, we produce about eight million, mm. eight to nine million tons. Mm. So the the rest we storage by the traditional uh, uh, methods of mm. like Shona, like the open area. So we still have we still the have traditional, some, yeah. some traditional yes. means of, sure. of of storage. But in fact, the government also in parallel with the making the new project of steel silo, also taking into consideration to improve the, the, the traditional old way for, mm. for these lands by making like warehouses, closed warehouses, at least to make it, uh, uh, to make the protection and uh, to make it closed enough to, to, to assure the, the, the waste, to mm. reduce the waste, to assure the clean up, the cleaning of the, the, the cleanliness of, the, of our wheat. Mm. Mm. And this covers the, all, all the amount? No, no. I mean some of, fee, some, some, some of these, uh, some of these old uh, shonas or old uh, open area is already cancelled, stopped. Okay, so um, the time frame needed to transform the storage uh, 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 industry into silos. Mm. Do we need to have the whole capacity stored in silos or can we have different methods of storage, like you said, the warehouses? Uh, in this concern, we need only to store what we produce. What we produce? Yes, because uh, for, for the important quantity, uh, some importers, some importers have the, the facilities to, to store what they import. Mm. And if the government imports, they have the, also the silos in the port, like Domiat port project, silos project, Domiat, and yeah. Ale Alexandria port the silos project. So this can at least to store another one million ton mm. in the port. Mm. So what we need to store urgently is uh, what we produce. If we produce about 8 million ton, so we need another 4, four million ton yes, capacity. Right, right. So this, this means at least we, in the coming five years, we need to replace the old ways like open land or at least the, some, most of them to be steel silos too. Why five years? Because as our understanding, the leadership uh, uh, does not take five years. It's yeah. one year and you're done. Yes. One year and you have to execute yes. it. Right. So is there a possibility to execute the remaining amount in less than the five years that you mentioned? The, but uh, yes, there's a possibility to do that in, in two years. But the, it, is, it, is, it has a relation with uh, the, 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 the general situation of the economy and the budget of the, of the development and uh, the priority hmm. of the big project which is we are Is there a role now. for the private sector in this domain? Is there a role for the private sector? For is there a role uh -huh. for the private yes. sector in the storage industry? Yes, right. Sometimes the private sector has, which is they have this land, some of them has the ability and already they make a silos project mm. and they have also contracted to store for the government. Mm. The same as you do for the land before with the traditional, all the traditional methods, you do it with the steel silos now, mm. some words, but not 
uh, not too much because mm. not all of the owners of this land have the ability to do the, project, the silos project. So they need funding? Sure. They need sure. investors? Sure, yes. Are there investors interested in this field? Many. Many, 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 invest many investors interested and they already apply to their banks by somehow to get a loan to, to, to get the fund to make steel silo project in their land. Do we need to have incentives for such investors to embark on or start such projects uh, with an easier capacity or with an easier uh, uh, with easier regulations? Uh, in fact, for for the bank loans for making a project or develop the current project even or the current manufacturing uh, there is now a, a good facilities uh, the lead the political leader five years ago they make some new rules for with the banks by for for giving this kind of investors loans by very low interest and this also this is like encourage them to make big project and a good project but sometimes they need the, to be encouraged by by the 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 benefits this means the price for storage for per ton for storing one ton in the normal land for the old ways is different from the price who, who, will, who will get from the government Against, uh, against the storing the weight by the steel silo. So if we look at the fees which the owner, which the investor take as, uh, as benefit, as profit, against this, this uh, uh, storage, this will encourage them to, to do more projects from steel silo. So what, what you're saying is we need to pay more to store in yes. the steel silos. Yes, sure, because now the there are regulations. The surface is different. Mm. F before, no cost almost. Mm. No cost on the owner. Now, there's a cost, electricity, equipment, maintenance. The, the, um, there is a, a, in Berkesh, in uh, yeah. Berkesh, yeah. uh, uh, 60,000 ton. Be, Birkosh. Birkosh, yeah. <laughs> 60,000 ton project. The Regional Center for Technology mm. of, of Grain Storage. Mm. This has a number of functions of the training, for example, the mm. personnel on the story. Are there certain guidelines for this process and for developing the, the storage process? Uh, I didn't get your point. You mean this like like what instruction. are we what are we training them to do why is there uh, a training center uh we are training them to, to do we are training them in this center to to how to have a better way for storing our our crops mm. our main food mm. and the the, the 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 advantage of storing the weight in a steel silo advantage of having this kind of of, of technology and compare with the old ways uh, our waste with, from storing the wheat uh, in steel silo, the waste is 1%. Compared, Compared to 20%. With, to 20, 15, we can say 15% is, is, is big difference. Mm. If you are importing, if you are consumption, your consumption is about 18 million tons per year, so 15% you can, mm. you can imagine the difference. Mm. is about 2 million tons. Mm. You save. Two million ton. Mm. You save two million ton money from your import mm. value. So we they train them how to do. They train the worker how to. No, Fifteen percent will probably be more than two million tons. No, not uh, more. No, because two million tons. If 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 you're saving two million tons of wheat, it means that you have a better supply. Sure which should also reflect on the price. Yes. Right? Right. So w w this would, to my understanding, Understand. it should decrease the price. Yes. You will have the time. You will have the ability 
to get better price for your needs, even even the the, the storage, the the storage ability, give you enough time to 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 have a good price when you buy. Mm. Because if you buy the wheat when when you need it, you don't care the price. You mm. just want the wheat here. Mm. But if you have storage and you have time for four, six months at least, so you have time to bargain and to get a good price with good grade of right. wheat. Now you have a, a storage of 4.7 months. About. About yeah. 4.7 months. How does this raise... 4.7 months is good, is not bad. Six months is, should be... Is, is, uh, is optimum? Uh, optimum, yeah. Mm. Six months storage. How does such a, a, an initiative, the silos initiative, contribute to exports and enhance our competitiveness? Uh, if you do the storage of your grains, especially for the wheat, uh, well, so as we said, you, your waste will be less. Mm. And also the quality of your wheat which come out from the storage silos, not like which come out from the open land, open mm. area. So finally, your product, you will not export wheat. You will export the product, wheat products, like flour. Added value products. Added value products, like flour, maybe noodles, maybe pasta, maybe. Mm. Uh, so uh, your product of, 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 of the wheat, the, 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 the product, final product from the wheat will be exported. Like, for example, we, our, we export in 2019 about two, $225 million flour. To, we export it to Middle Africa, West of Africa, and uh, also some Asian countries, Arab country like Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Emirates, Yemen. We export it to Venezuela in South America. We export it to uh, North of Africa. Uh, our export from the flour, this number is already registered in our customs mm. from the HS code of flour mm. is about $225 million. And uh, due to COVID-19 and uh, 020, we export about $141 million. Mm. This big number, good number, due to the pandemic, this good number. Right. Otherwise, if no corona, if no this uh, uh, pandemic, our number will be more. Mm. This means it's, it affects our contribution in the export. And, uh, and, uh, and so if you don't have proper storage, then you will not have proper quality in the production. To open other markets. To open other markets. Yes. Right. right, right. Because also not all the market same requirement. Some market high requirements, some market lower requirements. But at least you will have the ability to meet all the requirements. Mm. When you diversify when you, your quality. Yes, yes. When you have well storage for your material, because the wheat is your material. And this is, as we said, this is strategic stuff. This is the main food. Talk to me about the. Uh, storage industry, the technology behind the storage uh, uh, industry. Are there certain requirements for uh, this industry? Are there certain uh, issues that we need to address in order to uh, enhance the, the, the widespread storage capacity within the country? This industry is, uh, has no difficult requirements. Very easy, very simple. Just a piece of land. It is just a huge number, huge amount of investment. Mm. Because it is like a building. It is a steel building. Mm. So it costs. It costs as much. Mm. This is according to the capacity of the project, for sure. And uh, it costs as much because it is like steel building. And uh, the foundation of this project must be well done because it bears a lot of wheat. 
mm -hmm. uh, ton, tons, how many tons it can bear the building, the instructions itself, and the steel, and the uh, handling equipment, uh, elevators, and the chain conveyor, and uh, the controls. It's mega project. Mega they're, project. They're big projects, right. So the requirement needed is electricity and land. It's, it will be better if the land is dry enough, uh, far from the water, or at least make the special treatment to be dry, to protect it, because the water will affect the, the building and will affect the grain as well. Uh, no other requirement. Money. Money, location, energy. Energy. Enough. Energy, you don't have an issue with energy nowadays. Yes, right. So, the location... So, with the logistics centers that are now in different uh, parts yes. of, of the country. The roads, the highways. Is there um, a linkage between the storage and the logistics centers? Uh, in fact, recently, with a new huge amount of high, highways we, 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 we are seeing now and we are using now, mm. and all of the people feel that, all of Egyptian feel that, right. that all the highways already connected by somehow, by some way, make it short, make it fast. And this is one of the main reasons for fast development mm. is the roads, highways, I mean, and the communications. And mm. communication now are all the world that have it. The roads is, is, is one of will will make shift for our development in Egypt. Mm -hmm. The location for the grain silos is very important to be close to the markets, the distributing points, especially if these silos belong to the government. Mm. Each, the government has a plan, distributing plan for each location. This location will feed or supply or provide the way to the around area, the nearest points around. Mm -hmm. So the location is important for the pro silo project to be close from Airport, for, mm. sorry, from the port, I mean, close from the port, close for distributing point. But I think now, I think the government to consider this well, because we have a many, many mega projects now for silo. To complete, we will search the other province or the, at least the far area, which haven't this silo project now, and we will establish there. The rail transportation system, mm. cargo, mm. would that be added value for the transportation of your of grains? The, sure, sure. This will help too much. The, you mean the railway, right? Right, yeah, for this cargo. Will, yeah, will help too much. But uh, I think this will be the next step to improve the rail after we finish all our, net, our, 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 our network of the storage silo projects. Mm. After we cancel or, or replace, we can say replace all the traditional, the all the traditional methods of storage and all become steel silos, the rail will be, have an important role for that. Because loading, uploading the rail with the grains also need equipment. Mm. which is not available in the old ways. Right. You need special equipment to load the weight on the rail, mm. on the train. So uh, this is, will be available only with the new technology of steel silos. With the new technology of steel silos and also with the rails being close to the silos. Yes, right, right, mm. right. All right. So one sees... You mentioned the highways, so when you're driving around the highways, you see the big food manufacturers, they have silos yes. for their sure. uh, uh, production. And here is the, uh, uh, the private versus the uh, uh, governmental the government. or the national uh, uh, silos. You mentioned 4 million ton capacity now to mm. store. Mm. Does this include the private sector? No. The pri not. Which private sector? Mm. Private sector which he make his silos for storage for business. For his own production? For his own, feed, uh, for his own mill, for mm. his own factory, mm. or for the government? Right. For the government including. Mm. For his own business, no. 
not, not, include. not in the government calculation mm -hmm. at all because mm -hmm. he makes this for his own material for his factory material mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where are we uh, first let me ask you what is stored in the silos just wheat no wheat and uh, beans we can say mainly now in Egypt we store wheat soya bean corn corn this is three is the main mm. but some other new grains now the Egyptian uh, people who, who work who work in the grain fields started to store also like other beans like uh, fava beans fava beans uh, and uh, kidney beans and uh, lentil uh, sesame uh, peanut now all this before no storage no silo but the silo is getting so you need more and more, more for many grains so you need much more than the 18 million tons capacity this is we talk only about 18 million tons this is for the wheat this is for the wheat yeah for other grain egypt consumption is about is reach about 27 28 so there totally. is so there is a big room for investing in the silos sure sure all the silos companies know that hmm. egypt is good market hmm. and also egypt the population is not uh, is not uh, is not uh, so in order less. to attract local and international investors we have the land we have the electricity mm -hmm. the the energy, the energy and and we have the transportation now mm -hmm. so again what do we need in order to lure in or to attract foreign investors in this domain are there other incentives that we need to focus on to attract investors uh, local as we talked before right just uh, to try to enlarge their I benefit. know you have relations with uh, 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 suppliers in other countries yes. around the world yes. when you talk to them mm. what do you tell them in order to attract them to invest in the country uh, my relation with uh, us, with some suppliers, foreigner suppliers, these, these suppliers is is uh, equipment supplier. Mm. Uh, I talk about I talk with them about Egypt. That is 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 promising market. Mm. Egypt is promising market, and uh, now Egypt is is uh, developing. Big consumer. Developing. Yeah, big consuming country, but and also developing, not rich the developed yet, not developed totally developed. It's developing country. So, when you have share here, this mean you are you are putting step for the future, mm -hmm. more business. Mm -hmm. But these suppliers is is selling equipment and the machinery. Mm -hmm. I, I I if if I understand right, uh, uh, I, 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 I think you mean the investors which can make a big project here. Right, right, right. This, this, to attract them, this I think need, need uh, uh, some, some policy with the bank, some, some guarantee for mm -hmm. protection for their investments, uh, for how to, how to send their money back to the country mm. how to which secure is all, which is all available yes how which to secure to, i mean to show them that or to 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 make like so basically seminar. we need to tell our story to the world yes yes this is this is this is the main way. how to talk about us mr ahmed bilal expert in the food and grain technology industry thank you very much for joining us thank here you. on the show thank you it's a pleasure having you thank you for being with us see you see you same time Next week, I'm Ayman Salah. Good night.